Many of you know if, by reading the description of my channel that I'm a single mom. I have four children, two adults, two not so adults, and we have one income. And in order that we make our ends meet and actually have surplus, uh, several years ago, about four or five years ago, the Lord actually allowed us to take a class. It's called uh, the Dave Ramsey Financial Peace University. And I took that class with several other members of my church. And for the last four or five years, I have actually faithfully been doing my zero-based budget every month. So I don't do anything else unless I do my budget. I have a budget committee meeting of one. And I do that about the 28th day of every month. Um, today is the first of the month, so I've already done my budget. But I actually work my budget every day or almost every day of the month. I have it on a computer system. One of the ladies in my church actually created a zero-based Excel spreadsheet where she actually used the same categories that Dave used, and she actually shared that with me. It's the same sheet I've been using for the last four or five years. And what it actually does, it gives you a, a budgeted, up, budgeted column, and you actually budget it out to zero, no, zero dollars, and it gives you an actual spent column. And so it should be pretty close. But what I do is every month when I get my paycheck, I actually put my numbers into my budgeted column, and then I begin to budget out what I think my bills are going to be. And I use my last month's bills to form that budgeted column. So if my utility bill... My utility bill last month was $80.21. So that's going to go into my June budgeted amount. And then whatever my bill turns out to be will actually go into the actual amount. So this is what it looks like. It just says, um, I'll just let you see it a little bit closer. It just says June 1st through the 30th, 2016. And it gives you all the categories here that Dave talks about in his class. We have charitable gifts, savings, housing, utility, food, transportation, clothing, medical, um, personal, recreation, debt, and then your total expenses, and then your income column is at the bottom of the second page. This just prints out in a two-page format for me. What I normally do is I'll go through and write in all of my bills. Now, I don't use envelopes for everything. I use envelopes for the things that are specific to cash. And I do use cash for my groceries. I use cash for clothing, if we're going to have any clothing. I also use cash for eating out, and I use cash for blow money. Everything else, I either do online uh, debits or payments or I use my debit card to make my online payments so I don't have any credit cards I have no credit cards and with the exception of a very small student loan that I'm paying off and I mean very small in comparison to what normal people pay for student loans I have no debt um, my goal this year is to pay off about a third of my student loan which would be about three thousand dollars that's my goal for the rest of the the year so I just wanted to go through because the kids and I are actually going to go to the grocery store and make a, a trip so I wanted to stuff my envelopes and let you all know how I do that so after I sit down and I do my zero based budget which in my column again the first column is my budgeted amount and then the second column is what I actually spend on bills and then if it's in red that's an envelope so I'll put that a little bit closer you can see I have food here and then gas is in red, but I actually use my debit card for gas. I don't use cash. And then I have uh, clothing here. And that's not, we don't always budget in clothing, but I budgeted in some this month. So once my budget is done, then I will figure out what of my categories needs cash. So for this month, the categories that I needed were, and I'll show you that I wrote those out. I needed food. I needed clothing. I needed uh, medication blow money and then eating out and all of those totaled up to be three hundred sixty four dollars and eighty nine cent so whenever I go to the bank I know exactly how many of each denomination I need for that particular month now what I did was I found this thing online it's called money counter calculator and I'll try to put a link in the description box below that you can it actually will allow you to put in the denominations and then it calculates for you how much the money is so I have this process where I go through each of my money each of my categories to decide which denominations that I need so when I 
did everything I needed one fifty dollar bill, fourteen twenty dollar bills, one ten, two fives, thirteen ones, seven quarters, one dime, and four pennies. And yes, I needed four pennies. The lady said, Where are your nickels? I said, Well, I didn't need nickels this time because my uh, money was only $364.89. So after I've gotten all my money from the bank, I put my budget aside and I take that with me to the bank. So here's the money that I have uh, set aside and I will just make a small disclaimer. I did already use some money. The kids needed their clothes so we were close enough to do that yesterday. So I actually went ahead and bought their clothes and we had budgeted $75 for clothes and here's my receipt. There, uh, it was $74.86. So I did not go over my budget for clothing. And we had $0.14 cent left. And I do have my change here. And I'll show you what I do with my change. The kids and I this year are trying to save to go on vacation. So any change we have, we put it into our change bucket. And what we'll do at the end of, when it's full, we'll take it to our bank and put it in the change collector and... Well, there went that. Um, change collector, and we'll see how much cash we've saved just in our change. So anything that we have left in our envelopes, we'll put our change in our change bucket. Now, for my envelopes, this is what I do. It's not fancy or anything. This just works for my lifestyle, and I just do it. I go to the bank. I get my cash out. The lady gives me the amount of cash that I asked for. And then I just ask her for a couple extra envelopes. And what I do on these envelopes is I mark my groceries per week. I shop every week. I'm an avid couponer. So that's just how I save money. And I just take, like this week, it's the first week of June. So I'll take grocery week one. And this is the money that I will take with me when I'm ready to go to the grocery store. Now, what I do from there is I take my handy dandy wallet. This is just a regular wallet. It's not anything special. Didn't come from any fancy store. It's not coach. It's not anything special. And inside of my wallet, I actually have tab dividers. These are actually index cards with um, some little tab dividers that I have put placed on the outside of here. And I've laminated these. And I actually got this from another channel. I can't remember the name of the channel right now, but I will find it and link it in the description box. And I just put tabs on each of the index cards. These are regular 3x5 index cards, and I laminated these, and then I cut them out. So in my wallet, I have the following cards in my wallet. And I have groceries, medical, child care, blow money, homeschool, gifts, miscellaneous, and eating out. So I do have some of these categories. For my grocery budget was $164. I have four weeks, so there's going to be $41 a week. So I'm going to count out two 20s, two $20 bills, and then a $1 bill for each of the four weeks. And I'll just do that. You can't see this, but I am counting out two $20 bills and then a $1 bill, and I'm just making a pile. So I have four piles. So that's one, two, three, and then four. So the other money that I had was blow money and then I also had um, eating out money. Now I just realized that there's a bill I don't think I can account it for in my zero base budget but I'll be able to make it up uh, because I do have some other additional funds that are supposed to come in um, within the next week or two. I'm having some work done in the backyard. We just bought a house and then the yard guy's coming and I want to pay him cash and then I have the um, my neighbor uh, actually comes across the street and he cuts my grass for me and he does that every two weeks and I like to pay him cash as well. So I have my blow money which is $50 and that's two twenty dollars and a ten dollar bill. It's two twenties and a ten and I am going to put that into my wallet in the blow money section. So here's my um, divider for blow money. So I'm going to put that in there and then I have my one week of groceries because the kids and I are going to the grocery store today. So I have $41. I am going to take this $41 and I'm going to put that behind my grocery budget. Now, a friend of mine is getting married, so I am not actually going to be doing any eating out this month. I'm actually going to take my eating out money and use that for her gifts. So I'm going to take my extra money that I had along with my blow money because I did have to spend a little bit of money yesterday. So I have 10, 11, 12, $14 in eating out money. 
and I'm going to actually pull some of my blow money out to go along with this and that's going to be her gift so I'm actually going to put that in the gift section behind the gift section and so I've got that in I've got my blow money in and this is simply what it looks like when I start to fill in I don't usually keep a lot of cash in my wallet just generally my grocery money my child care money and any blow money or eating out money is what I keep in here so I did fill in my week two grocery money you can see there's two 20s and a one so that's week two I'm going to actually fill in for week three two 20s and a one two 20s and a one forty one dollars and for week four I have two twenty dollar bills and a one dollar bill now, we did a little bit of shopping yesterday, again, with our getting our clothing and just a few other little items that the kids and I needed. And we'll put this in the safe for, and every week on Wednesdays, I'll pull out one envelope for groceries. So, that's that. Here's some extra envelopes that I don't need. And I do like to check to make sure that I'm not leaving money in any envelopes because I have found money in envelopes before. Um, the Lord has really blessed us, so we're, we're not really... We used to be very strapped for money. It used to be extremely tight. But as soon as I started doing the Dave Ramsey and budgeting out everything, the Lord has blessed us over and above what we have needed. And so I have found myself going through and cleaning out and organizing things. I've found envelopes with money in them, thinking, oh my goodness, where did this money come from? Well, I didn't need it that week because I coupon in my grocery. Usually it's grocery money. Um, so anyway, I'm going to take these three envelopes for groceries and I'm going to put these in the safe for the next couple weeks. Then we did a little bit of shopping yesterday. So I actually have about a dollar, I have two dollars and some change that's just in change. <laughs> just in change, excuse me y'all. And in keeping with my, um, put the change in the bucket. $2 and something and change is going in the bucket. So hopefully the kids and I will be able to take a pretty nice vacation once we get our bucket filled. And we don't go on vacation until the off season. So we'll probably fill the bucket at least twice, maybe three times. And hopefully we'll have enough for a couple nights out somewhere really nice. So anyway, that's how we do our zero base budget. Um, please feel free to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Share it with your friends. I'm sure you know some single parents out there that are really trying to make ends meet and I've just been able to make it happen for my family and we do very well. We, we've, we've done extremely well using the Dave Ramsey plan and I'm a faithful user of it. I do it every, every month. I promise you it works. So um, thank you for visiting our channel and we'll see you next time. Bye.